G'day legends, uh, just at the boat ramp at the moment, we're about to launch the boat and um, we're going to go chase a few flatties today of course and the fishing's been unbelievable lately, we've had some really good sessions where we're getting 50 to 70 fish. Um, we're so. just going to fish that lower part of the tide, probably the last hour and a half of the outgoing and the first hour and a half of the incoming and uh, I think we'll do pretty well. So hopefully this will be a good video and um, yeah, let's see how we go. So I've just rocked up the first spot. Uh, the tide's still up a bit further than what I thought it'd be, but that's fine because I've got to muck around with this lecky. I've just got a new Minn Kota, so we'll have a bit of a play around with that. If I had been five seconds earlier setting this up, you could have seen old mate over there just run straight into that samba. Let's see if he needs a hand. I think he'll be right, but so I've just got to rig up some rods. Um, really cold morning as well, so it's going to be fun trying to do FG knots in this colder weather. But we'll get them rigged up and um, start flicking here, and um, a bit later we'll we'll pop up across over there and, and give over there a go. But, um, it's looking like it's going to be a good day, so fingers crossed we get plenty of fish. setup guys we've got the TT Black Mamba three to six kilo rod and the ITX and the two and a half thousand high gear um, I like using the high gears sometimes they fish will run at you and the quicker you can wind in that slack the better chance you've got at setting that hook so very useful um, great rod great reel as well really smooth drag so pretty important to get the best gear you can afford um, these these reels and rods aren't overly expensive to be honest with you. They're very good for their price. So good value. Um, if you haven't tried them, give them a go. Definitely recommend them. Well, that is a bad start to the morning. First drift, not even a touch. Um, look, that's fine. I think the, the water's gonna come off and the fishing's just gonna go insane. So I don't mind waiting a bit. And um, pretty helpful for me just to try and figure this lecky out while I'm fishing, because I'm fishing with a remote now instead of the foot pedal. So might look, might miss a few strikes, but having spot lock is a definite game changer for me. I love it. So, good times. We'll see how we go, guys. You'll see that. You can see the sandbank there. You can see plenty of water's come off that. It's probably on a, a bit more water coming off because those fish can still be up on that bank at the moment. And I want that to drain off so that they're all going to be on this drop off edge. They're going to be nice and concentrated. There we go. Oh, he let it go. That was a good one, too. All right, well, we're in the right spot. So, I might spot lock us there. Bloody right there. Yeah, I can see a lot of flathead working here. Go first. Oh, he's not too bad. So probably a high 50s. Come on, buddy. There's a lot of coming in the net. Oh, go, buddy. Only a mid 50s, but. It's a good start to the morning. I reckon we'll get a few more here. We'll get this girl back in. It's time to give Pearl a go. Using a 3.8 jig head now, so I can get it down that drop off nice and quick. And I can work that lure a bit faster as well. Oh, you're choking. <laughs> I was wondering why my line was slack. So 
a little flatty charge on me. Hopefully this isn't a bad one either. Come on. Let's have a look at you. Yeah, so probably tiny bit bigger than the last one. Oh, oh about the same. So just changed to the white, casted that, and I didn't even wind, my line just took off. So they're definitely gonna be feeding hard. So another mid 50s one guys, that's on the Pearl. I think it was the first or second cast and uh, she absolutely whacked that and just come straight out into the deep. Get this hook out of her. Get her back in. <laughs> Thought there would have been one there for all money. She's sitting in that sand patch. There we go. As soon as it comes over that weed edge. And they're fighting hard. So that's probably a mid 40s one there. Fish number three for the morning. About a mid 40s model. There we go, another one. Again, just on that drop off edge. It's not, it's not as big. It's definitely a legal fish. All these fish have been legal fish. She off that. Oh, I had one chase that then. Oh, that was a better fish. Another 50. Nice. Yeah, just a 50s model there. I love the most at the moment is they're just hitting them so hard. And um, really going for it. I ain't getting off that hook. That's a nice fish there. Oh, yeah, you didn't take long. And off she goes. Just chuck a bit more procure on that. There we go. That scent can definitely increase your bite. So I'll, I'll change my cast up a bit, guys. If I'm going for distance, I'll go an overhead cast. But if I'm fishing close quarters like this, I don't need to cast very far. So I'm just doing little flicks. And it just allows me to be a bit more accurate and I can land it right on the edge of that weed. Because if I was to land it on that weed and get a bit of weed on that plastic, I've pretty much just wasted that cast, which you really don't want to do. And if I want to work that parallel line, overhead cast, I get the distance and I can work that whole edge in one cast as opposed to several if I'm out off the bank. These parallel casts, probably give me the most fish per cast out of any other tactic because they're going to be sitting there on that drop off. So I'm only working that particular spot. 
So I've just switched over the motor oil, guys. That water quality has just gone down a little bit. And um, just with that outgoing tide, it's not very clean. So I'm going to try the UV colours and um, see if we can get a few hits on those. Oh, oh no. There's a better fish that come right at me. Well, at least I know the color change worked. That's why I prefer that high gear model, guys. Because when they do come at you like that, you can wind it in a bit quicker. Didn't work for me that time, of course. But more often than not, it makes a big difference. Let's make sure I don't get sunburnt today. Getting married on Saturday. Last thing I want to do is look like a tomato in my photos. Enough wrong with me head as it is. So just got a couple of drainage points here, so definitely worthwhile casting these guys. Should definitely get a fish out of here. It's pretty good there. Not seeing as much action anymore. I think the fishing's gonna turn back on once that tide starts pushing up. We only got a little hot bite period before. There we go. It's a piece. Oh, no, not really. Better than nothing. Thank you for that. Tail rapture. Well, that's a 50. That's why we fish those drains, because they're usually a couple hanging around. We just spat that. Oh, I'd say high 40s, that one, actually. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I saw that hit it. That was a cool bite. Only a mid 40s. Mid 40s fish, but that was a cool bite. I actually saw him come up and smack it. There we go. Oh, no, he's just running out at me. A good little fight. It's another mid to high 40s fish, probably about 46, I'd say. Swallowed it. There we go. Good baby. All right. Still definitely a legal fish. Oh, oh no, don't come. Yes, yeah. there you go, you. You were on the shallows, mate. I've been casting out a bit deeper, thinking they haven't gone up there yet. And I've cast ultra shallow and I've nailed it straight away. So I'm gonna have to keep casting shallow now. day as well. It's definitely pushing 60 that one. Right. 
slightly better fish. We'll get her back in. Uh, that was right up on the shallow side. So I'd, I'd been avoiding casting at the shallow, thinking they were still on that drop off. But I plugged one up. It's probably only like 10, 15 centimeters water up there. And we've just nailed this one. Which is nice and healthy. It's not a bad one. It might actually, that might be the biggest of the day. Oh, that's a bigger one. It's not huge, but I'll take it. Get away from my motor. That's not that big, it just went really hard. It's only your 50s. Oh, nice little fish to end the session, guys. I think we'll chuck her back. I'm just about done. I might have one or two more casts and um, call it a day. Guys, well, I'm going to call it a day. Uh, back's getting a bit sore, but we got a few fish. I think we'll probably end up around 15, which is pretty low compared to the scores we've been getting lately. They've, they've been absolutely firing. So 15's probably a bit under par, but still a good day. A lot of those fish were sort of around that 50 centimeter mark. So uh, at least we weren't just getting all rats. We did get a couple of good ones in there and uh, probably the biggest ones are pushing 60, but I don't think we had anything under over 60 today, unfortunately. But um, still a nice day out in the water, weather was really nice, so I'm going to head back in now and um, grab a feed. Cheers guys.